Greetings and salutations. I am Poetic Heretic, and this is an article from the Mind of James Donahue website asking the question, could we exist in pods? Some years ago, I became acquainted with a man who claimed to have been involved with a secret black ops military program and subsequently had access to shocking information concerning our world and the so-called reality perceived by humanity. Etched deep in this man's mind was a photograph he said he saw of time-worn and broken faces of the presidents carved on Mount Rushmore. The wooden platforms and walkways leading up the side of the mountain were burned away. The sky overhead was a hot red color. What the man discovered from studying the photograph and from the other information he obtained was that humanity today appears to be existing in pods, our minds plugged into a matrix that makes us perceive a non-existent world in our minds. Thus we believe that all is well. But he said all is not well. The pods, which are placed deep in caves under the earth, on the moon, and on various other places in our solar system, are heating up because the sun has gone into its last stage and is becoming a red giant. As the sun grows in size, it will literally swallow Mercury and Venus and eventually the earth. This, the man believes, is why we are experiencing what we are calling global warming. It is because our pod, which is tucked deep under the earth, is feeling the heat from our warming planet. Eventually, when the sun consumes the earth, our existence in the pod will come to a dramatic conclusion. We will be burned alive within the protective pod that has shielded us for centuries. All this time we believe that all is well in our solar system. The pods, he said, were a last-ditch effort to save humanity for a few thousand years of more time. After this, our sun burns out and turns into a white dwarf. This was the man's frightening story. Is it true? Are we lying dormant in a pod somewhere, perceiving our lives in a matrix created hundreds if not thousands of years ago for our benefit? Those who have watched the Hollywood film The Matrix may have some sense of what we are attempting to explain in this short essay. That movie has had a strange effect on the psyche of all who have watched it. It was as if the script writers and filmmakers had a strange sense of foreboding when they created the movie. If anything, The Matrix gave us all a concept of questioning the reality we perceive. Suppose, just for the sake of argument, that civilization has existed on Earth for millions of years, and suppose that astronomers in a bygone age discovered that our sun was in its final stage of converting hydrogen to helium at its core, and its nuclear fuel was depleted. In a last-ditch effort to save humanity, scientists of that era created the pods and placed them in various places around the solar system, even going as far out as Pluto, in the hope of salvaging fragments of the human race for as long as possible. Thus the matrix system of existence was invented. Some of us were sent to the outer limits, and others were put deep underground, in the hope that the sun would not destroy us all as it grew into a burning gas giant. Some of the pods may have failed. The one we are in is still operating. But because we are located deep in the earth, and the sun is heating our planet, we are experiencing what appears to be a warming environment in our matrix system. If this story is true, our days are probably numbered, no matter what we do as a society, to try to save ourselves. That concludes the article. I don't know about you guys, but I got a very strange and unsettling feeling after I read this. The thing that is most disturbing to me is that if this actually somehow was true, we would have no way of knowing for sure. For all we know, our minds have been intercepted, and we are existing in some kind of pods, deep under the ground, in the caverns of the earth. For all we know, the real world is one of death and darkness that is soon going to perish. This has been another report from Porta Caretic.
Don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.